Greg, living with stomach pain, ulcers, heartburn, reflux, and other digestive disorders can be stressful for anyone. While some digestive diseases are severe and short-lived, others are chronic and can last much longer. Common digestive diseases include food intolerance, ulcers, and stomach inflammation, to just name a few. Symptoms may include bloating, stomach pain, and stomach cramps. Dr. Francois Prunel from Clements Medical Center in Dubai says that these issues can be remedied or better yet, avoided entirely with the right prevention. The main risk factors we know are um, age, of course, polyps, history of polyps in the family, history of there is um, two pathologies, uh, family, I mean genetic family, with genetic family transmission of cancer named Lynch uh, syndrome and polypomatous family syndrome. Uh, we can give, we can give uh, colon cancer but younger, so this kind of population needs a screening at a younger age. And um, uh, red meat, eating a lot of red meat is a, uh, is a risk factor. Smoking, uh, low diet, um, low fiber diet, uh, of course, uh, also can give uh, colorectal cancer. But when you have the risk factor, it, it doesn't mean that you will have the cancer at 100%, I mean. And Conversely, if you if you if you are you have no risk factor, you are really healthy, you are young, you can have also uh, a colorectal cancer. That's why the screening is important, starting from 50. Um, I mean, it's not 100% rules; it doesn't work any every time. So uh, we used to say that for all the colon cancer, there is nine chance on 10 to survive, to have a, a, a normal life after and to really forget the, the cancer. But it's only, it's true for all the cancer. For advanced cancer, no, the, 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 the life will be shorter, for sure. So that's why the screening, it's really important to detect the, the colon cancer at the early stage. The early stage, because you, you will, you, we will remove the cancer and after it's 100% of uh, 